if you have an emotion inside of you where you want power, let's say that's emotions inside of you, and there's a spirit around who wants to manipulate you, and you want power, can you see that your desire for power is going to attract the spirit who also desires power? Does that make sense? And he's going to connect with you and make you feel powerful. So how do you protect yourself from that? What you need to do is release from yourself the desire for power. Does that make sense? So in other words, it's going to require, protection requires and a thing called release or emotional release, right? If you want protection from God, you need to work in harmony with God's laws. God's laws, one of them is called the law of attraction, which you've heard of, right? Now, the law of attraction is taught by the secret and all these other ones teach the law of attraction is all to do with this. Mostly that's what they teach. But that's not true, is it? No. The law, you know, you can imagine things here, but it doesn't do any good, right? The law of attraction is to do with what you feel, what you really feel. So, for example, let's say we've got a lady who's uh, in an abusive partnership, an abusive relationship. What is the law of attraction doing? Okay. She wants to be in the abusive relationship. Now, I can guarantee you that no lady in an abusive relationship thinks she wants to be in it. Okay? So here she's thinking, I don't want this, I don't want this, I'm tired of this, this is terrible. And she cries about it maybe even daily, right? This is what's going on here. But what's going on in here is, I am unworthy, I am worthy to be abused. I am worthy to be abused, I am worthy to be abused, goes this light, right? And so what happens is, a long line-up of people who are willing to abuse her appear in her life, including her closest partnership. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, she can change anything she wants here. She can change anything she wants here, but it will have no effect. Because until she releases from within herself this desire to be abused, which comes from a desire, from a feeling of unworthiness, from a feeling like, you know, she's worthless, right? If, until she releases the worthlessness, she is basically like this lighthouse saying to the rest of the world, I am worthless, abuse me, I am worthless, abuse me. Does that make sense? And until she comes to recognize that and take responsibility for that emotion and release it, when I say responsibility, not blame, she needs to be responsible to feel the emotion. She's the only one that can, because it's in her. So she needs to release that emotion. If she releases that emotion, then what's coming out is, I am worthy, I am worthy. If you abuse me, you're going to be out the door, right? <laughs> That's what happens from there on, right? Does that make sense? Now, it's exactly the same in all aspects of your life. So, your life tells you what you feel, even if you don't know what you're feeling. So, if you're walking along a street, or let's say this week, how many of you had people angry with you this week? Yeah? People angry with you this week? Yeah? Okay. You needed that. You wanted that. Yeah. Not here. But here you need it to trigger some fear. Because in here there's fear, and the only way to get it out is for somebody to trigger it. Does that make sense? Is there another way? Oh, yes, there is another way. And that is you, do, you deal with your fear without getting it triggered. But most people don't do that, right? <laughs> most people avoid their fear until it's triggered. Does that make sense? So the answer to all of your questions are basically deal with your emotions now. Don't wait until they have to be triggered. But to do that, you're going to have to get really honest with yourself. And that's what we'll talk a lot about tomorrow. Uh, so this aspect of protection, you'll have a lot of answers about that tomorrow because protection from spirits is exactly the same as protection from anyone else. And that is, the law of attraction is attracting them into your life, whether they be spirits or people. The law of attraction operates upon your real condition. 
So you think about it from the point of view of a person who has an instant change into mediumship and they happen to get really dark in the process, right? What's happening? Often, many people who are mediumistic want power. They want people to take notice of them. They want to have a special gift. Does that make sense? Now that desire is a desire for prominence, is it not? If you desire prominence, who do you think you're going to attract? A spirit who desires prominence. Does that make sense? A spirit who can manipulate that. The same goes if, let's say you're in a state of internal fear. What kind of a spirit are you going to attract? A spirit who's willing to abuse your fear, to make you feel more afraid and to manipulate you, right? Does that make sense? Let's say, you're, let's say you look for sexual satisfaction through relationships to make yourself feel good. What kind of spirits are you going to attract? Spirits who are interested in using you for sex. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's all to do with what's going on in here.